are. Lennox, the situation is getting serious. Hell yeah. Get me the machine now. Cool down, Black. I'm on a plane. You want me to jump out with it or what? Listen, you're currently over the North Atlantic. Whoa. Have you been stalking me, man? I'm not careless. I know your every move. Life in the limelight. I don't have time for your smart-ass banter, Lennox. Just throw the machine out into the abyss. We have our ways of retrieving it from there. By the way, Black, why are you so crazy about the thing? That's none of your business. I'm the one who has it right now, so you might want to reconsider that answer. Look, it's a dangerous device. You don't say. Care to elaborate? Heather Light wants to use it to control human minds. We can't let that happen. Oh no, that would be awful. Black, how about you tell me something I don't know for a change? Like, how exactly does it work? You know more than I expected. I'm getting suspicious. Well, it broadcasts a signal. A signal? A satellite signal, using the same wavelengths as radios and television stations. It can reach every household with any type of media receiver, down to your basic radio set. Well, that's it, more or less. That's it? That's all you need to take control of people's minds? Apparently. And? Switch the button, then I will tell you more. So why don't we just destroy it? And you'll be the righteous among the wicked, the unwavering hand of justice. No, that is the supreme ruler's privilege. I pity Etherlight's situation the moment he regains his sight. And since when are you his star pupil? Stop yours. Whose side are you on? Heavens or hells? You won't earn my loyalty with lies, Black. The machine for the truth, that's the deal. Take your time. I have lots. I don't. Get me the machine now, and we'll show Elite its true power. Will we now? Don't be an idiot, Lennox. We will rule all humankind. The battle will be over forever. Think of the glory. Think of the power. You'll never be a mere mortal again. I'll take care of. Perfect, Barbara. I knew you'd find a way to decoy him. You can stop enjoying the moment now. I disabled the machinery. Oh, you think so? You have no idea how it works! Won't you kindly explain it to me then? With pleasure. 
Once the machine gets to the Ethelite Satellite Center in Canada, it will be connected to the broadcasting system. And with the help of mass media, the modern world's greatest power, every household around the planet with radio or TV, every human being within the hearing range will become... A saint? Better. We'll make people better. It's pure madness. Madness? What's mad about erasing evil from human hearts? Well, I don't expect a filthy demon to understand it. What about free will? That's enough, scum. Since you're so interested in the machine, I'm sure you'll be glad to hear that soon you'll find exactly how it works. Yes, devilish dog. You'll be our first subject. The first demon in history to become an epitome of virtue. I've wasted enough time here, but I'm sure my assistant will take good care of you. Barbara, we're on course exactly above the HMS Liberty. Take your prisoner there. Yes, sir. Carlos will do fine. Injection. Check the pulse. Eight drops. There's no time to waste. side are you on in the end? On the only just side. And you're the only chance to stop Carlos. Why don't you try to do it? I am trying, but I need to stay undercover. I'm helping you as much as possible. So I'm the only one who's able to stop his crazy plans. Ryan, I believe you are the only man to save the world as we know it. And I'm doing my best to help you. Just join me. I can't. I'll be much more useful staying undercover, but you can fight him openly. Now listen, you're aboard the HMS Liberty. It's an aircraft carrier. Liberty? Oh, the irony. I had to pass you on to Admiral Jones, the ship's commander, but I'll help you get out. Finding Carlos is our only priority now. Wait, I don't feel so hot. This headache is killing me. You were poisoned. You need to heal yourself. No use. I've lost my powers again. Damn. I gotta contact Lucius. No! I don't want to see you turn into a demon, Ryan. You've become addicted to infernal powers. Maybe I'll ask that psychotic general of yours for angelic ones then, eh? Look, I'm defenseless now and I can't really go and save the world with this headache. Just tell me where my stuff is. Okay, okay. Your equipment is stored in the back of the ship. I'll guide you. Ryan, you're down on the sixth level of the aircraft carrier. This part of the ship isn't as heavily guarded as the upper decks. Watch for the security zones in the corridor. If unlocked, they become lethal gas traps. But they can be disabled. I saw sailors doing it somehow. Now, take a look in the next room. They probably keep some med kits there. The door is already open. Report. Who's there? This is Commander Jones speaking. Uh, Aru, we're changing the course to the northwest. 
Kill him at all costs! speaking, calling all upper level crew officers to the bridge. You're in the officer sector. Be extra careful. They're tough. They usually sit in the canteen. 